My name is Amanda Monroe. I am 30 years old. My mother was tested positive for Huntington disease about 10 years ago, and I am now at 50% risk of inheriting the disease. Huntington's disease is a hereditary neurodegenerative brain disorder. Um, it is most similar to having ALS, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's all in one. Whew. You're trapped inside a body that can't move. You are trying to speak sentences from going from point A to point B and you can't get there. It's, I can only assume that how my mother feels is completely being trapped inside her body. And to me, that would be torture. It would be complete and utter torture. I never knew what Huntington's was until my mom got diagnosed with it. Life changed dramatically. We knew that something was wrong with her, and we didn't really know what it was. So she got tested for it. So from there, she just changed as a person altogether, and every day it gets worse and worse. As a family, it's brought us really tight and together, but It's terrible. It's the worst thing I can say. I see my mom with my niece and she wants to be this great grandmother. And she is, but she can't carry her. She can't walk with her. I think one of the hardest things is watching my dad with her because he's been with her for since they were 20 and he's seen her before this disease took over. He spends his days caring for her and he's the most patient man in the world I know he's a hero to me for it but it's hard to see I can't how do you put into words the like how do you put into words how much how much love you have for someone that's just they've been totally taken away because of this disease it's hard because you see you see her trying to communicate with us and I mean her mind is still there but the ability to talk, the ability to even go for a walk with him, do anything with him, is it's gone. And I know he had plans to retire and travel with her now, and that's that's gone. It's, all of it's gone. So it's hard every day. Um, right now, as a child of a Huntington's child, a parent, I have a 50% chance of inheriting. Today, there is tests that you can go and get done to see if you do have it or not. Myself, personally, I haven't been tested yet, and I don't want to know because I want to live my life to the fullest that I can right now. I try to go every day without thinking about it, but I think at the end of the day, it's the things that you and everyone else doesn't think twice about. It's stumbling on a word or the tiny, tiny things in life that if those happen to me, I automatically think, okay, that's what it is. That's what's hitting me. I talk to my husband about our future and what we want to do when we retire and where we want to go, where we want to travel. And I smile about it when I talk to him about it, but in the back of my head, it's, will I be able to do that? It's, it's taken away. Being able to think of my future and be 100% happy about it. It's instead put this dark wall of fear in every day that, yeah, every day I love. Um, the Huntington Society helps my family as well as any other family that's affected by, the biggest thing is that they're there. They're there for any questions that you have. They're there for any support that's needed. They're there to give you hope that, you know what, we're all in this together. We're gonna get through it and we're gonna keep pushing forward until this disease doesn't exist. The best thing that people can do to help is by speaking out about it. Even if, if it's not, you're not affected by someone that has it, talk about it to other people. Even the smallest donation in the world is that tiny little bit of hope 
for the families that are affected by it. And it's one step closer to finding that cure that's there that can possibly even help my generation, and but more so for the generations coming forward. They're so close to finding a cure that it's, it's almost like you just wanna go and give them that one extra push because that's really, it's all they need. And every donation that they receive is a step closer.